Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. I'm at LG's private room behind closed doors at Mandalay Bay for CES. And what I'm seeing today is the LG 65-inch E8 television, which has the picture-on-glass design. What has changed in terms of the design from last year's E7 is that the glass actually extends all the way, almost touching the surface on which you will be placing the television. And there's a stand, which is sort of like an alpine stand that is slightly inclined with a brushed metallic silver finish. And also there's the telltale LG OLED logo at the bottom right of the stand itself. Now, in terms of the picture quality, which is, I'm sure, what you guys are interested in, the 2018 LG OLEDs will be using the company's new Alpha 9 processor and Alpha 7 processor. Now, the Alpha 9 processor will be found in the E8, in the C8, and also in the flagship W8 wallpaper OLED television, whereas the entry level B8 will be sporting the Alpha 7 processor, which has a slightly smaller number of cube calibration adjustment points, but I'll come to that later. So in terms of the improvement in features that are provided by the 2018 LG OLEDs, I think the most important one is this 3D LUT auto calibration feature that the company, the South Korean brand, has done in partnership with Portrait Displays, who is responsible for the Kalman calibration software that us professional calibrators use in our day-to-day -day calibrations and also in our reviews. So let me just first of all explain what is a 3D LUT or 3D LUT lookup table calibration and why is it so revolutionary and why is it such a game changer. I'll come to that later. So in the old days, when TV manufacturers started trying to implement calibration controls on televisions, you have the brightness controls, maybe uh, contrast control, sharpness control, color control, and tint control. And then slowly, some manufacturers started putting in two-point white balance. And then it slowly grew to 10-point white balance, or even 20-point white balance. And then you have a CMS, or Advanced Color Management System, on top to try and get the colors as accurate as possible. But the 3D LUT system that LG has developed in partnership with Portrait Displays is it's incredible because it provides so many more, how should I put it, so many more adjustment points. It allows the software, the Kalman software, to talk directly to the hardware of the television, bypassing all these color controls. And I, I just cannot begin to even express how excited I am about this development because 3D LUT is the gold standard in the film industry. When a colorist, they grade a film and they are looking it on their broadcast monitor, usually there's some sort of 3D LUT going on, either through an external box or internally on the broadcast monitor itself. And so 3D LUT is actually a gold standard. And the fact that we can actually get this sort of technology right in your own home on a consumer level television, I think it is outstanding. So let's delve into the specifics of this 3D LUT auto cal that Kalman is doing in conjunction with LG. And I've been informed that you can actually calibrate up to 11 memory banks. So for SDR, you can calibrate for Cinema, Expert 1, Expert 2, and then you can calibrate for Technicolor and also, most importantly, for game mode. And the reason why I use Game Changer in my headline is because in the past, if you are a gamer and you wanted accurate colors, it's very, very difficult on LG TVs and LG OLEDs because in the standard dynamic range game mode, the color gamut is fixed to white with no way of actually changing it. So that's the reason why I say that by actually allowing game mode to be calibrated in this manner by the 3D LUT AutoCal, 
it will just generate such accurate colours for playing video games as well. And we know that these days, some games are actually making more money than Hollywood movies. And there are so many cinematic cutscenes in these video games or PC games. And if you want accurate colour, this is the way to do it. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. So you have five memory banks for SDR. You have three memory banks for HDR, which is HDR Cinema, HDR Technicolor and HDR game as well, which is important for gamers out there. And then for Dolby Vision, you have three memory banks. You have Dolby Vision Cinema, Dolby Vision Cinema Home, and also Dolby Vision Game. And going into even more nerdy specifics about the way this auto calibration is performed by Kalman on these LG 2018 OLEDs, I've been informed that the Alpha 9 processor is capable of 33 times 33 times 33 points, which is like, they call it cube calibration because there are three numbers there. And that allows us adjustment that is actually in excess of 30,000. When you consider that in the old days, even on LG OLED, which has like 20 point white balance, which has like three axis color measurement system for the three primary colors of red, green, and blue, and the three secondary colors of cyan, magenta, and yellow. This just blows all of it away. Obviously, I need to actually wait until I get a review sample in, try this out, and see the results, and hopefully uh, in a side-by-side -side comparison with a reference broadcast monitor before I can actually pass any judgment. But this is an exciting development, I think, in the world of consumer televisions. The fact that you can actually get a color accuracy, the video fidelity level that matches what you actually get in studios is just astounding. Other features on LG's 2018 OLED are their dynamic tone mapping technology. Last year it was called Active HDR, so what this does is that it tries to simulate dynamic metadata from the existing static metadata on, let's say, Ultra HD Blu-rays or from HDR10 content or even HLG where there's actually no metadata. But for the year 2018, LG has changed the marketing term to HDR Pro. And last year, remember, Active HDR is actually engaged by setting dynamic contrast to low in the user menu. But this year, it is more clear cut. It is just known as dynamic tone mapping in the user menu. And that is exactly the reason why LG is not going to actually support HDR10 Plus dynamic metadata standard on their 2018 OLEDs and there will be no 3D support and there will be no true HDMI support as well. So this is Vincent Thiel here reporting from CES. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.